Frontier Sound in New York. Uh, wonderful studio, wonderful band here. Right. Billy Hart, Mark Feldman, Ben Street, mm. and Yelena Ekamov. What more do you want? <laughs> <laughs> well put. <laughs> so, we just made uh, a record which is gonna call it Leaving Everything Behind. And uh, as all my records, it's gonna be a conceptual CD talking about um, the subject of leaving things behind. And I, in my life, I left behind my home country and even I left behind my three children for one year and two months. So I left behind all my friends and all my relatives and never seen them again. Yeah, this is like very meaningful subject for me and I've never recorded any music uh, with this concept. That's the first time I dare to do this subject. It's very tender, very, uh, I would say, painful. Mm -hmm. I see. That's uh, a Euro concept right there. Tragedy, you know. Anyway, uh, I was thinking about, you know, thinking about your music in today's terms and uh, as as American music is now being more and more acknowledged as classical music like any classical music as American classical music begins to grow more and more becomes more and more through composed and you can hear that in, in Chick Corea even Herbie Hancock but never more than in Wayne Shorter today, yeah. right? So I'm saying uh, uh, you may, Yelena, be uh, just a little ahead of your yourself in, in, in what is to come. You know, mm -hmm. what is to come now is more and more through composed music. And so I just feel like we're in a unique position here to be part of, 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 of the future. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's a great way to put it. And um, the composition, but not just a composition of chamber uh, ensemble performing strictly by the score. This has so much room for improvisation, right. for, free, for structured and free. And that's what makes it, I think, a jazz, still jazz music, but with a much more compositional approach than uh, traditional. Yeah, but I mean, well, that's yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. We're saying it's more the fact that it, it can be uh, it can be more agreeable to so-called jazz music because jazz music is is now being acknowledged as classical music. Exactly. So it's people like you like that uh, really come out of a, a European classical background to include American classical music. It's exactly. easier for you exactly. to include American classical yeah. music. Yeah. Mm. So what do you think is it's about the project, about the session? Well, right away with your music, I had a question. <clears throat> it seems like, uh, I, I think it's a cliche to say these days, but uh, <laughs> um, it's, sometimes it's hard for people to protect the space in their life for their imagination. Uh, sometimes we don't have time, we're running around, running around. And sometimes for a record date, oh, I gotta write these ten tunes or something. Mm -hmm. and, and you write very uh, clever tunes. But with your tunes, um, I get a strong sense of the imagination. Like you found a way to go into your imaginative space, even with the titles. And I find that really inspiring. How, how do you... Was that conscious? Like, do you protect your space for the imagination? You make sure you have free time? every day or every week so yeah. that you can be um, by yourself? You see, well, I, I'm in a sense in the exclusive position. All of you guys, you travel a lot. Mm. And um, all the musicians I've worked with, they travel a lot. And, and I, I, I've been put by uh, my fate, I would say, by my life um, to the position that I, I don't mm. travel. Uh, all, all, all kinds of things I'm doing, but but traveling, mm -hmm. uh, travel uh, when I have to, and travel for recording sessions, and you know, but uh, still it gives me opportunity to kind of, uh, like you say, uh, 
have a space for my imagination yeah, and then keep composing and keep my projects are growing and, and even though I record uh, since 2010 uh, two CDs per year you know that's still not enough to cover all the material so I mean I, I wish I could do it more of it and, yeah, but um, I think we had great vibe in the session <coughs> Absolutely. Yeah. What do you think, Mark? I I had a good vibe, and I thought that I thought that you had a good vibe. But sometimes I wasn't sure. I was like, is, is she bugged? No. Is there a draft in it? No. <laughs> but uh, so uh, no. I mean, I thought it was great to do this. I had to really prepare because uh, there was like a lot of notes for the violin. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I was glad that I had time to prepare. And it was very challenging and uh, you know, I'll probably come back tomorrow and fix, fix my whole part, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it was so challenging you that uh, great, I think that they were, I was talking that they're planning on releasing a version without the violin, <laughs> just <laughs> for a violinist I gotta to play get a along. Copy of this. <laughs> play along with it's gonna be it's gonna be hey put the camera over here it's gonna be a music minus one kind of record with the violin part in there and it's like okay you think it's so easy yeah you, right you do it, you do it. <laughs> that's basically yeah, that's cool. how i see the record well uh, oh, well, we rehearsed three times with mark yes just a solo rehearsal two times solo and one time with ben mm. and one time group rehearsal so um, I, I love the rehearsal we, we mm -hmm. were rehearsing and uh it starts to be a blizzard outside the snow is coming down uh -huh, thicker, yeah, and they're predicting Marks, oh this is one foot already there's going to be at least three more feet and i'm saying yelena i don't i don't know if we're going to get any cars she's like let's try it again <laughs> <laughs> we'll look out the window <laughs> it's a workaholic <laughs> oh i remember uh, how we you know met first time and I was very excited to visit Market in his Brooklyn, very charming apartment. His charming Thank you. cat Lulu was part of a game. Charming is really the adjective I think best describes me and all my family. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. such a command of English. It's very... mm -hmm. Thanks. It's charming. Спасибо. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I think you think it's gonna be great CD, right? Oh wow! Yeah. It better be. Yeah. It, be, it better be. <laughs> After all this work. <laughs> it will, yeah, and of course Billy, um, we go with Billy a long way, right? It's the third record we right, made together, right. and right. it was uh, um, Lions, A Touch of Radiance, right. and Wow, Leaving Everything yeah. Behind. And uh, what do you think, Billy? How those records are different? Well, it's different parts of your imagination, <laughs> but the point is, you uh, you have a volume of of work. You know, you you have a, a lot to give. You know, and 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 it's you haven't stopped. You you're still going. I, I think, and what you have is is for me a unique experience. <laughs> That's nice to hear. Nice. And, and it, well, that's one one of the reasons I'm doing it. Yeah. It's a unique experience uh, to uh, to. Uh, I've always wanted to play drums in a in a European classical atmosphere. In other words, I've always mm -hmm. wanted to say like say play a drum concerto mm -hmm. with a chamber orchestra. Mm -hmm. I mean, even as a young kid. Mm. I've always said so, and so uh, all of this is you know a smaller version of that and that's what it makes me think of sometimes mm. so it's actually uh, it's sort of like a, a, a dream come true in, in a way oh to to uh, to have uh, a situation like this where I can look at the music uh, in relationship to the drums mm. and you also you like to impersonate all those things that uh, are like figments of my imagination, right? right. So uh, you don't just say, okay, I'm just gonna play this. You you want to know what it is about, what I want to express. And mm -hmm. even like, 
you know, so it's on all, all my records. You were doing an excellent job of uh, impersonating all those um, things, that feelings and rain and, and snow and right. and even dogs bark on the touch of radiance. Remember right. uh, how grass is growing and and here you had like thunderstorm and lightning and a nostalgia feeling and, and uh, tears and all kinds of that mm. thing. So you, well, I definitely you, believe in that. I definitely believe in that. You're trying to, imp to, to express it. So that's what makes our soul like happy working together because we are pursuing the same goal mm. of expressing. What do you think, Ben? Well, that's beautiful. That's what I'm I, well, no, I agree. <laughs> no, of course. Very well put. Yeah, well put. And I'm a hundred percent in agreement. Oh, great. So we, 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 that's why that's what makes this a special session. That like very, very special because we were all on the same vibe, on the same pursuit. And mm. I mean, everybody did absolutely, absolutely marvelous job, mm. except me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still gonna well, fix I'm the next I'm glad you said that. Uh, I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. that's, that's a joke. Uh, oh my He's God. already. You can. We can cut that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's uh, that's great. Well, Thank I like our so. piano playing, but who we're gonna get to write the music? Oh, that's true. Sure. <laughs> you mean you said you don't like my? <laughs> <laughs> okay, say it. Say it. Say it. <laughs> That's the problem. See, when you get along, then you just get like funny with each other and sarcastic. Mm -hmm. well, normally, you wouldn't if you didn't like each other. That's, that makes me very fortunate. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, but this is a this is it's been great, and I hope that um, whoever watches this video is gonna tune up for the future encounters with this wonderful quartet. Okay. Here, here. here. Yeah. I'm gonna watch the video. <laughs> I, have one, I have one more thing I remember from the rehearsal. You and Mark, we were playing the three of us, and after a while we stopped. And Mark said, "Hold it, hold it, we gotta stop. I, I got lost." And you said, "Where did you get lost?" And Mark said, "Bar two. <laughs> and uh, you know, you could you could hear a pin drop, and then you said, "Oh." Thinks it wasn't bar one. <laughs> She's always looking at the bright side. She's a, trying to she's be an optimist. optimist. Yeah. Yeah. Trying optimist. to be optimistic. Yeah, but it's been really difficult. I know to, uh, those. Uh, yeah, I forgot to say that this. All these compositions are older. My older material. Mm. So and that's that's why it's kind of uh, maybe even stylistically a little bit different from what I've been doing. But that was an intention because I don't want to just pursue the same road. I want to kind of explore different uh, directions and different um, opportunities. So I was very happy. I was really keeping my fingers crossed that this would pull through because I knew that it's it's a difficult material, very difficult. And everybody just pitched in so with enthusiasm and liking it and trying to make the best out of it. And I really appreciate you guys. I really you appreciate got it. you guys. Thank you. And uh, it was wonderful also work in the studio with James Farber, engineering, and Owen Malholland. Well, <laughs> a great assistant, great, uh, great guy. So, uh, Everything was great, and I like the piano. So hopefully, it's gonna be a marvelous, terrific, like mm. Mm. thumb up CD. Beautiful, very good. Well, okay. that was upbeat. <laughs> <laughs>